Hey everyone, Anime and Juby here, and I thought I'd go into detail on how to do mounting and also how to control while you're on top of a monster while you are mounting and attack and make sure that you're not going to get thrown off. Also, I've got some tips for if you do get thrown off, what to do. So, first off, you're going to be able to jump off of ledges and attack the monster and have a chance of mounting it. There is little ledges and bigger ledges that you can obviously jump off of, but you've also got a chance to... Basically, in these corridor kind of situations where you do have half climbable areas, you can climb up and obviously get up and do that higher jump attack. Otherwise, if you see these vines or sometimes mushroom ledges and stuff like that, you can run up. You actually have to use the run button. You can then run up halfway, jump off and do your attack like I'm doing here. Uh, but you, yeah, as you can see there, I ran into the wall for a little bit. You do need to use the run button to start running up the wall. Alternatively as well, if you slide, here with the hammer I'm using the actual charge attack to do the spin attack because I find the best uh, best opportunity to mount is when I'm doing that attack because it does hit multiple times. Otherwise you can just do a normal attack while you're sliding and have a chance to mount the monster again because you're doing that jump attack to get on top. Otherwise, there is another method other than those jumping attacks by using your grapple hook where you grapple onto wedge beetles and basically you're going to grapple onto them, then you're going to jump on top, and then again, you're going to be able to do an attack. So that is another option, especially in the forested areas when a monster is running away. However, as you can see here, we're going to go into mounting a monster and what we'd actually do to control it. Now, the biggest tip is going to be looking up in the top right. When it's highlighted attack is when you've got the green light to attack. When you're bracing is when the monster is thrashing about and you have a chance to basically have your stamina drained, which is going to throw you off. Otherwise, move is when the monster is about to slam you into a wall. So if you just focus on those three kind of methods, you're going to be able to stay on. And eventually, like you can see here, you're going to get a chance to do a charge attack, which is going to knock the enemy to the ground and do quite a bit of damage. Sometimes even cutting off a tail or breaking off parts on the head like horns. If you do get thrown off though, you can press the attack buttons to basically grapple back onto the enemy. Now in this situation, it won't actually telegraph you the button to press to grapple back on. But if you press triangle or Y to basically attack and grapple back on, you're going to get back onto the monster. However, if you do run out of stamina, you're not going to get the chance to do this again. As you can see there, I did get knocked off with uh, low stamina. But anyway, those are the basics to grappling. There is probably a little bit more you can do to... I guess guarantee that you grapple or have a better window to get on board but those are the basics those are going to help you get started and from there you're going to be able to perfect it the best thing I can give you as advice is to definitely pay attention to that top right once you've mastered that you're basically good as gold for grappling if you've liked this give us a thumbs up if you do have any comments on how to improve your grappling techniques maybe pop it in the comments below otherwise if you want to see more Monster Hunter videos like this or any other JRPGs or online co-op games do uh, give us a subscription to see more of these videos in future. Anyway, I'm Anna Manajubi. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.